Headshot. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary of Attack on Titan, the final season, part two. But today, we're gonna check out the fourth episode of this part, or episode 20 of the final season overall. And last time, things got real. Very, very real. Because as pretty much anybody could have told you, when Falco and the others went up to Zeke to try to convince him to not shout so that, you know, Falco wouldn't be turned into a titan, Zeke did it anyway, because of course he did. He's not going to sacrifice his entire life's goal right now just for the sake of one person. That's just not how he rolls. Even if he would rather not do that to Falco, and he had sympathy for his plight, he did what he needed to do. He shouted everybody nearby who drank his spinal fluid got turned into a titan, including Falco, and that gave him the opportunity he needed for Eren to get loose. Now you might say that Falco's suffering as a titan was short-lived, but in the long run, he is not out of the woods. Because even though he did manage to consume the jaw titan, which would mean he would get to turn back into being a human, he still has the curse of Ymir to think about. Because yeah, he can turn human again, but just for the fact that he's a titan shifter, his lifespan has been cut down significantly. So no matter what, he ain't gonna be living very long. Also in the process of turning into a titan, he kind of vaporized his brother, so that's not good. But in all the hullabaloo of Falco turning into a titan and rushing Reiner, Eren managed to break free and rush out there to meet him so that they could finally make contact and do what they were gonna do. There was one hiccup though, because Gabby was actually waiting for Eren right around the corner with a freaking giant epic cannon sniper rifle, and apparently she's a really, really good shot because she pierced him straight through the neck, tearing his head right off his body. Now this would have spelled an end for Zeke and Eren's plans right away, if Zeke hadn't been lucky and he managed to catch Eren's head right out of the sky before it hit the ground. Meaning in those few precious seconds while his brain was still alive, they made contact and thus were able to access the powers of the founding Titan. Of course, Eren was not in any state to try to use these powers, so Zeke had to wait for him to get rebuilt to recover in this world, and he apparently had to wait a while. Like he was here for an unspecified amount of time that was probably, from his point of view, even up to decades. But once Eren was up and at him, Ymir walked out and Eren was going to use the Founding Titan powers, but not the way he said he was going to. Yeah, he revealed that he was just playing Zeke the entire friggin' time, and his intent was never to euthanize the Eldian race. It was all a trick, just like Armin thought. But, Eren was not the only one who had a trick up his sleeve, because Zeke also managed to pull a fast one on him, in that in the time he spent in this world, he managed to figure out some things. He figured out a way to nullify what was keeping him chained up here and took full control of Ymir for himself. He didn't even need Eren anymore. So he just broke free of the chains, chained Eren up instead, and has now declared that he's going to free Eren of the brainwashing his father put on him. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff. But now at this point, it looks like we're going to be taking a trip down memory lane as Zeke tries to convince Eren that his dad brainwashed him. We'll see how that goes. Eren is very stubborn. I mean, all this time he was playing the long game with them, so don't think he'll be too successful at that. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's -a go. Not sure if this one has the intro or not. If it did, I should have skipped it. But it does have the little <laughs> logos and stuff. I know that. I have nothing to add to that. Ah, okay, good. Fly away, little bird. You don't want to be here. You're joking with me right now. Bro, what do I even say about that? That was <laughs> That was a crazy reveal of an episode, man. Just having to sit back and take all of that in. Yeah, earlier I, I said erroneously that 
he might have went there not knowing the walls are going down, but once he laid down the fact that he can see the future, that, you know, he can see Aaron's memories, yeah, even if he hadn't seen that the walls were going down yet, he would know because Aaron let him know. Although, that creates a paradox, almost. Like, Aaron was allowed to go back and convince his dad to kill them because Aaron went back to convince him to kill them. I'm thinking too much about this. This ain't no time travel story. It's Attack on Titan. <laughs> Saint Stein's Gate. Of course, now we have to think about the question that Zeke asked. What did he want to do with the founding Titan's power? Did he truly want to just unleash the rumbling and wipe out everyone? They've said that the rumbling could devastate everyone else in the world, but under the right circumstances, could he just completely wipe everyone else out? Does he even want to? And man, Zeke finally learned the truth that his dad did care about him. He did love him. He never wanted to leave him behind. And he regretted it deeply. Of course, it was pretty apparent that he felt that way. And yeah, he was determined to save Eldia, but he actually was not determined enough on his own accord to wipe out an entire family, including children. He did adhere strictly to the code of being a doctor. He, like, that was what stopped him. He's like, I'm a doctor. I can't just wipe out innocent children because that's horrible. But Aaron is apparently cool with letting him do that. He lied when he said he was disgusted. If there was anything he was disgusted by, it was that he just collapsed and didn't do it initially. Man, I don't even know what's what anymore. <laughs> Aaron has apparently just been a puppet master from the future who controlled his dad to make him do these things. Might explain a bit the more frantic expression on his face when he turned Aaron into a titan. Something tells me Aaron told him to do that. Yeah, <laughs> what a twist with that one. Just Zeke brought Aaron here to see all these memories just so he could try to make him see he was brainwashed, only to find out that the one who was a little more brainwashed was himself. Aaron was never brainwashed and was never the way he was because his dad made him that way. This is just Aaron. I don't even know what else to say at this point. This episode just blew everything wide open. Just with that reveal that the Attack Titan can see the memories of future Attack Titans, just... That puts... That just changes everything else so much. Who knows, man? At this point, <laughs> I mean, Aaron is still chained up, and Zeke still has the Founding Titan powers, so... How is Aaron gonna stop him? All Zeke has to do is go through with the plan. Aaron's chained up now. What's he gonna do? Although Zeke did say that he was unwilling to leave Aaron behind and that he wants to save him, although maybe hearing all that stuff from his dad might shift his perspective just the tiniest bit. But we'll see, man. We'll see. I can't keep prattling on about this episode forever. It was insane and very off the wall. And what can I say? It makes me hyped to see where the rest of this is going to go. I mean, there's probably, you know, a good few episodes left. I'm not sure of what the total will be. I haven't looked it up yet still. That's my bad. But as it stands right now at the time of recording, there are only two episodes that are currently here. Episodes 80 and 81. We're... Almost gonna be caught up. Come on. Just gotta keep it up a little bit more So for now, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed Subscribe to be updated on more. That would be great next time Episode 80 overall episode 21 episode freaking 5 of the final season part 2 who cares from you 2,000 years ago That's what's next and after everything that just happened The fate of the world hangs in the balance so that's all I gotta say, guys. Till we meet again, I will see you guys all later.